back in the day, growing up even in Scotland, I would, I would watch the FA Cup before the Scottish Cup. So having moved to England to play for Chelsea, uh, the FA Cup was huge. Uh, and when we, when we got there in 1994, it was like for us getting to a Champions League final. The build up to the final for me was actually a nightmare because uh, I, I had a problem with my a problem with my hamstring, which went back to the semi final when we defeated Luton at Wembley. Uh, I was struggling going into that game, and I played, and I knew I wasn't fit, and I, I think I lasted 25 minutes or whatever it was. And I remember going off, and Glenn saying to me, "You were never fit." So I was like, you know, it was one of those things that you shouldn't really do, but it was such a big occasion, and I thought, semi-final, I want to play. And it turns out it was something coming from the back. And so I was actually treating the wrong thing, but I wasn't playing. And I remember Glenn saying to me, uh, Glenn Hoddle, if you don't play in the last game of the season, you're not playing the FA Cup final. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not playing. I was like, get me tablets, get me anything. I was just taking all these tablets. I was getting the treatment on my back and my hamstring. I could still feel it. I wasn't training at 100%, but I, but I wanted to play, I was desperate. And I just kept that quiet. I'm not going to tell the physio or the manager that I'm struggling with a hamstring. I'm like, I, I'm fine, but I, but I wasn't. And it was it, it was difficult from a psychological point of view to get ready for that game with everything that was going on in my head. The build-up was huge. Uh, and, and, and as most people remember from back in those days, uh, FA Cup was just big for everything, for newspapers, for TV, for players, for clubs, for fans. And uh, it was, you know, nerve-wracking and, and you know driving on the bus to Wembley from the hotel where we stayed and seeing all the United fans and all the Chelsea fans walking up Wembley way and all the family coming down from Scotland and everybody else's family coming and the expectation was just was just huge back in 94 I can tell you for our team it, it was massive walking out you know the old Wembley it was you walked out from behind the goals not like it is now in the middle you had that big long walk out so you could see the whole of Wembley when you came out and you're walking your captain's taking you out and your manager and you're walking out beside the United players. And you're just wondering and you're just hoping at the end that you're going to be going up the steps to, to, to get a winner's medal. But, you know, as we know, the game the game didn't pan out for us. A couple of penalties given away um, and Eric Cantona's, you know, rolling the penalties in as if it was like a, a game on a Sunday down the pub with his mates, you know, no pressure. And it was always an uphill battle for there. So it was a big disappointment in the end. But, you know, just the memories of the whole the whole period from the third round onwards to you know the quarter final and the replay at, at Sheffield Wednesday that we won, uh, the quarter final against Wolverhampton who were a league below, the semi against Luton and then getting to the final was was something that you'll treasure. But ultimately we failed and didn't get the, the medal that we wanted. For more, sign up now for ESPN Plus.